Hey Aquarius, welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be your reading for November 2020 for your love reading. Okay, let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Ooh, someone's coming flying towards you. And they're leaving something behind to come to bring you a cup of love. Ooh, wow. There's going to be, there's also just recent past, there's some kind of new offer that you had. Page of Swords. Hmm. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles. Nice. Choices to be made. You're doing quite well here. And you have the World card. And the Knight of Swords. Okay. And the bottom, we have the Four of Swords. So that's like resting, meditating, getting into your thoughts there. Okay. So what we have here. So we have a Knight of Swords, which could be another Aquarius, a uh, Gemini or Libra, coming towards you. And they want to make you an offer. They're going to give you some information. Because uh, with these, with this Pentacles here and the Ace of Cups, and this is in the recent past. You might have just got a job offer or um, someone offered you something, a new beginning, a new start. And you are going to leave something behind. That's no longer serving you. And then we have this Ace of Cups. So you're going to have a new love. Um, it's going to be a very, very great. I mean, it's, it's a huge, huge love coming in. I feel like this and with the abundance, this is really good. And then we have the Page of Swords. So you get some kind of communication about this love offer or this job. And also... Um, so we have the Queen of Pentacles here for the very near future for you. So either someone's coming in that is um, financially stable or that's you being grounded and stable. And you're going to have to make a choice, whether it's job or love or maybe both. And um, and that definitely people see you as having it all. You have 10 Pentacles, you got the whole family life, everything's good here. Um, and then there's um, your hopes and your fears because the world. So you know that something has ended for something new to begin, which feels really good. It um, could be a reunion here with that, the world card. Maybe that's what you really want, a reunion with someone. And then we have the King of Swords at the top, who is a um, very intellectual person. Um, and they speak the truth. And the and the truth is coming to you. So in the outcome, you you will know the truth about something. Whatever this page is bringing you might just be, you know, a tidbit of information. But eventually, with this world card and everything that's going on here, everything would be revealed. Okay, let's do a little clarification now here for Aquarius. What's going on? Okay, let's what's with the knight knight of swords. Some clarification on this Knight of Swords, please. Why is the Knight of Swords coming? Now, this is the fastest Knight, and this is coming in quickly. And either this this just happened, or it happened a little while ago, but somehow you got some type of offer, some kind of new beginning, fresh start, money came in. Maybe you got to get the money. Maybe you got an inheritance. Something came in. Okay, yeah. okay, so now we have the high priestess. So this is... Someone knows something. Someone could see things. This Something is being revealed here, I feel. You're finding out something. You could be high, the high priestess, too. Very psychic, intuitional um, intuition is right on point now. Because um, you know enough to walk away from this is not serving. So whatever, there is a circumstance in your life that you're just saying it's not worth it. I'm just leaving it. Whether it's a money um, situation, a job, um, love, you're just saying, I, I had it. I'm, I'm not going to be bothered with this anymore. Okay, let's score on this Ace of Cups, please. What do we have for the Ace of Cups? Ooh, well, the Ace of Cups with the Lovers. That's nice. And you know, it's 
clear because I didn't I kind of clarify what you're walking away from but I want I did the ace of cups next well I'm glad I did with the didn't want to be walking away from lovers but so we have lovers here cups so this could be a soulmate the Gemini okay let me unclarify what you're walking away from now it's weird how I skipped that card but I'd like to see the lovers with the ace of cups because whoever this is the love offer and it could be your soulmate and why is the cups here oh okay because something was not right you were things were hidden this was um the truth is coming out it's gonna be maybe near the full moon in Taurus the end of the month something's gonna be revealed but you knew you're typing I cannot speak speak you're tapping into your intuition you knew to move away from this before things got bad oh i just knocked this card okay all right so you give me a card on clarification on this ace of pentacles of what of the recent past what was that what was the ace of pentacles okay i got a couple cards here let's see whoa uh -oh, two of cups and the five of cups and the five of swords so there's definitely changes here that that's bringing in that brought in this money situation um looks like someone was um reminiscing about you they're in their head about it i think there's also been people talking to them trying to trying to talk them out of this um this person trying to bring you something bring you offer the um but, but there is a partnership here and again, this is two of cups, so it's like soulmate. So this is um a very, very um very spiritual connection here. So this person is gonna bring you in something. They want to make you an offer because they want this ace of cups with you. And they already feel like you are their soulmate. Okay, why is the page of swords here? Why is the page of swords here? This is a transition. This is something, something's um, going away, so something new could come in. And this person is going to tell you about whatever it is that if they left someone to come to you for to rebirth this relationship, or they went through a transition, they transformed themselves, or you're going through a transition. I almost feel like you already been through your transformation, but so, this person that um is coming in for you is going through it now and they really want to tell you about it. they're excited about it and um I, I don't know if they know how intuitive you really are they might have an inkling of it but i'm not i i don't think they really know that you are pretty powerful in your own right and that um and you can help them because i think for whatever this is, even though you have not been talking to this person, if it's somebody from your past, that's what feels like someone from the past, you may not have been talking to them here on the 3D, but you definitely been helping them on the 5D. And it feels like you did something to help them. Um, sort of give them a little a, a gentle nudge in the right direction. Something you did or said made it so that they can um open up it opened up their eyes to something it, it the light bulb went off um i yeah it's definitely whatever you said there's something that you're you're instrumental in helping them get through this transition that they're going through it's a spiritual awakening that's what it feels like okay why is the queen of pentacles here why is the queen of pentacles empress okay yes because you're able to right now to really create a lot you are um if you if if you don't want to have a baby right now be take extra precaution because you're very fertile 
anything that you actually put your mind to, you can achieve, you can manifest. Um, you are extremely powerful with this high priestess and this empress. And this person is starting to be aware of that. I think they sort of knew before, but I'm feeling... And with the, the moons have a lot to do with this. The moon is triggering your ability to be even stronger. During these, um, the, the full moon and the new moon, but especially this, these full moons, you are right on target with things and you are super connected to the divine. And you are just um, really manifesting. This is quite powerful. The high priestess next to the empress here. Okay, and what is this decision you have to make? More clarification on the decision. You have a choice between two. It might be a job, might be people. I don't like feeling no person in here. Maybe it might just maybe it might be between a job and a person. That might be for some of you. Okay, what is the two here for? Two is what's here for. Yes, you're leaving your burdens behind. You have to make this choice. And it might be a hard one, but you're not taking this anymore. It's like you've been carrying way too many burdens for way too many people, and it's time for you to let that go. Okay, and why do we have the Ten of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aquarius? The world again. Wow. Yeah. You are really coming. All this work that you have done is really bringing the world to you. You're going to be on top of the world. It's, this is um something that's coming around. Something that you invested in is coming back around. I think you might have felt like you got gypped before. But no, now it wasn't the time then for you to, to be able to be in this position and this power. But now everything's coming down. Everything's aligning. I can feel like the planets are aligning in your favor. And this connection that you have is bringing all this in. And you're ready. You're relaxed. You're ready. Because before, and think about when you really thought that it was going to happen before. Think of your mental state and how um, things were actually were around you. Do you think you, you were able to handle it then? No. It wouldn't have been. It wasn't the right time. Now is the right time. You're getting there. You're getting slowly you're going through this transformation you're you're in the emperance and the high priestess and you're just really able to create at this time something that you wouldn't have been able to create it wouldn't have been as potent it wouldn't have been as magnificent as it is going to be now this is really amazing you have a lot coming in for you you are really a one hell of a creator here okay let me put a clarification on this other world card please some more clarification that we're all okay. Three of Wands. Yes, you're waiting for this to come in. And it's coming. You manifested it. You're waiting for it. It's coming. Okay, and the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here and the outcome of the spread? Why is the King of Swords here, please? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to turn in your favor. And um, Seven of Pentacles, because all the work that you put in, things are now able to turn. Um, and you're going to have, either this is the King of Swords coming into you, the Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or it's it's your, but I think, it's, I feel more like it's your power. Um, and the lovers here, I have, this could be a Gemini, this is Scorpio. Yeah, you um, you definitely come into your power here. The Pisces also here. Okay, let me throw some more on this spread for Aquarius. Wow, Aquarius, very nice. Okay, what else is going on for Aquarius, please? What else is going on for Aquarius? we have summer summer 
something's going to happen in the summer, something had happened in the summer. And here we have the starfish, which could be you too, because of star. Something about the summer. The warmth of the sun. Someone's warming up to someone. Seashells, the sand, the sun. But it could just be that something, you're going to really see something. I think you're going to be a whole different person by the summertime. You are transforming. You are manifesting. Yeah, so the summertime, definitely, you're going to be feeling really good. Okay, what else do we have? And we have signs. Yeah, watch the signs. You are getting signs. Solitude. Yeah, you're going within. And you're seeing your signs. You're seeing what the universe wants to show you. That's why I care when you're going within over here. And then again here. And I'm surprised the hermit's not here. Okay. What else for Aquarius? Twin flames, yes. With the two of cups. I'll put this right in. No, the two of cups and the ace of cups and the love is here. Definitely twin flame. You guys knew each other before. And you probably, if you were together and you had to separate it because you had the transfer you had both transform into different people than, than when you met you had to go through a change here Oop, and we have destruction okay so that's like the tower so something's going to change drastically but it's okay you have to sort of like get rid of the old and, and what's not serving you for something new to come in so don't be afraid of destruction And we have the fifth dimension. Yes, you guys are definitely connecting on the fifth dimension. What else do we have? Yeah, you're going to have a fresh start. Something new. Especially with the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. We have abandoned. Someone felt abandoned. Yeah, some. Either you or them, that you had to leave this relationship because you guys both had to go your separate ways and do the growing separately in order to come together as a stronger unit. You had to leave. It it was it was important to leave. It, you would have never stayed together. And, you, and if you did, if you stayed in longer, when you broke up, that would have been the end of it. But this, you broke up to come back again to have a fresh start. And maybe that's what that's just talking about, the destruction there, that when you guys had that tar moment and you left and someone felt all alone and abandoned, it really crushed them. Did it crush you or crush them? Someone was really hurt. What else do we have? Or both of you. Okay, two cards coming here. Okay, patience. Yeah, be patient. It's coming. This fresh start is coming. And, and they are going to take action. But be patient with them. They still have a couple more things to do. They have, they're not quite ready. They're waiting for that divine timing, it looks like. Soulmate, yeah, see, a soulmate, twin flame. We have the lovers here, and we have, that is definitely, this, this is a divinely orchestrated connection. Same with this reunion. It's going to be in divine timing. I feel that very strong. Let me get another card. For Aquarius here. Yeah, Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine is definitely thinking about you or whichever one with the scope is thinking about the other. And the bottom we have. I'm sorry, I can't read these things. Contemplation. So yeah, they're they're going within to think about this, how they're gonna do this, how they're gonna bring you together since there was something that happened in the past that they're making sure that when they get talk to you they want to do it the right way they're not going to they're not going to come in unless they know it's correctly and they know they have to come in correctly if they don't come in correctly you're not going to you're not going to bother with them and say you got to do this right or don't do it at all and they know that they don't want to be abandoned again or you whichever way this goes 
Okay, what do we have from the Romance Angels for Aquarius for November? It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yes, it's safe with this connection. You can feel confident with this. Okay, that did not work right. Okay, what else do we have for Aquarius, please? What else do we have for Aquarius? We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay. Right now. That's why they can't come in right now. Because they don't feel like they could take that mask off. They're not ready. But they're coming. Just a matter of time. And right now if they came, it wouldn't work. Because they're not... They don't feel um, mentally ready. Not that, you know, they... You know, it's, it's just... They have to psych themselves up, is what I want to say. And then they don't have that confidence. Here, very soon. Clarity decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is coming in soon. Be ready for it. Okay, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yeah, I think this person also with that. They want to make sure that they are financially capable of taking care of you or you can take care of them, whichever this is. And under here, children, your love life is being affected by children. Yes, someone's children are a consideration now that maybe they don't want to come forward at this time. Maybe it, it's not a good time because of the children. Um, and if it's older children, it might be that they wouldn't be accepting of this relationship at this time. And this person has to sort of like get them prepared for that they're going to do this no matter what. So they're going to have to get the children prepared for that. Okay. What else do we have for Aquarius, please? What else do we have for Aquarius? Guardian angels. Yes, your guardian angels are definitely guiding this. This is, this, um, they're helping you and them with the transformation. Um, they're totally around you. I could feel the angels and your guides helping to um, prepare you for this when you do get together. What else do we have for Aquarius? Blessings, yeah. This relationship is blessed. I Would it be the lovers and the soulmate and the twin flames and you know all the cards are coming out yeah the soulmate twin flames this um two of cups is also like a soulmate connection fresh start you know you're getting blessed you got the world twice <clears throat> well fortune is going to change in your favor so that everything so everything could come together in divine timing okay <clears throat> what else do we have for aquarius please what else do we have for aquarius Trust. Yeah, trust that it's all going to work out. It is. You have to have faith. You have to have trust. There's just, you know, a couple of things that have to happen before you guys can get together. <clears throat> before this reunion can happen. <coughs> I'm saying my throat is getting... <clears throat> they don't know what to say to you. <clears throat> and every time they think of what they're going to say, they write it down or they go over it. It, it gets stuck in their throat. They say, no, that doesn't sound right. No, that doesn't sound right. They're not, you know, how can I say that to them? Oh, no. What am I going to do? I don't know how to approach them. I don't know how to do this. And, you know, they're in their head about it. So let's see what else we have. <clears throat> power. Yeah, they're waiting to come into power. This whole thing here is they need to feel stronger. They're, they're trying to build their strength. Trying to build their confidence they don't want to blow this this is this is like one if, to me it feels like for this person it's like one of the most important things that this is this is their you're the ten of pentacles here you're you know it's like it's everything what else do we have for Aquarius
ideas and inspiration. Yeah, they're going within. They're um, probably there with here, relaxing and meditating and just trying to figure out how to actually start this. Like this fresh start under here, they they don't know how to start. It's like I think once they they just come approach you and talk to you, it's gonna be so easy. But that first step. The first step is the hardest. After that, it's, everything's going to go smoothly because you are both being divinely guided to this connection. It's really deep. It's really beautiful. It's amazing. And you are going to be very happy together. It's just that first step. And probably after they make that step, they're going to say, well, why didn't I do it sooner? This was easier than I thought. Because they're in their head too much. They're thinking over and over. They're changing their idea how to approach you, uh, what to say to you. They start it and they, oh, no, that's not right. Oh, no, that's not right. Oh, I can't do that. I can't say it. Oh, no. This is not, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then they get frustrated. They get angry at themselves. They, um... They reflect back to what happened before in the past and what they did that they should have, could have, would have, and didn't. And that is really eating at them when it's done. They have to, they're living too much in the past. If they were able to um, project themselves into the future and think more, um, if they are able to like do the affirmations and, and um, just imagine them with, together with you. And make that, you know, like fake it till you make it, it would be a lot easier because if they started thinking that they're already with you, your, your subconscious doesn't know what's, what's true and what isn't. And that would make the manifesting, manifesting happen a lot quicker. But I don't think they're aware of how to do that. Um, but So when they lay in their thoughts, they start off thinking, okay, how can I just lay here and think about my Aquarius? And they start thinking some nice thoughts of when you're together, memories, and then all of a sudden it creeps in. Oh no, oh no, they're not gonna want this. This this is not gonna happen. The in the dreams, they're dreaming about you. This is happening. You are connected. I have the fifth dimension under here. You are connected in your dreams. Everything's working out great there. You are trying to figure things out in the fifth dimension of how to bring you two together in this third dimension, and it's gonna happen. It might not happen as quick as you like it or how uh, quick as they would like it, but it needs time. It needs time to nurture. It needs time to, you have to water the plant. It has to get the nutrients out of the soil. It has to grab on to everything it can to make it strong before it starts. And you need a, a firm, strong foundation first. And then everything will grow and, and it'll have a, that healthy soil, that healthy start, because you got the fresh start card on here. So the, by doing that, you'll have this nice seed. See how this is in here? It needs that, all that love and that nurturing to, to grow into a nice big, that's probably what, a, a little seed, seedling for oak tree maybe? In order to grow with that big, big, strong oak tree, it needs to be nurtured. It needs the water. It needs the sun. And maybe that's what the summer was coming at, that you guys are probably going to, start talking but I think it's gonna take time and you know you don't need to rush it in the summertime hey you guys might be talking marriage um, or living together but you don't want to rush into it because you you guys need to have the time don't pressure yourself you there's no reason to rush it as long as you're together and talking I mean that's that's gonna just feel awesome because you guys have such a solid connection let me just put one more card for Aquarius here. Yeah, harmony. And you will be in harmony. And everything will just go smoothly. And on bottom of this deck, we have listening. You have to listen. Listen to your guides. Your guides are talking to you. Um, they are, I think they are just starting to listen to their guides. They really wasn't too sure about it. But now they realize that they are getting communication from the spirit world and it's helping them to get through this uh, but you guys are going to be together this is looks very promising it's a great reading okay Aquarius I hope you loved your ring it reading like as much as I did I'm just so excited for you I know this is all coming together 
and it feels really good. So please comment if, if this resonates with you. If anything's happening, please let me know what's going on. I would love to hear from you. And please like, share, and subscribe. And love to see you again real soon. Thank you.